Container ship is still wedged beneath the collapsed crane, and officials are trying to figure out just how to remove it. The boat crashed into the crane early Monday morning at the port of Vancouver. No one was injured, but the damage is significant. The 33-meter-high crane weighs well over 1,000 tons. Now two separate floating cranes, including one called the Beast, have been brought in to clean up the mess. That section of the terminal is entirely closed off, and now dozens of longshoremen are without work. Officials say the recovery will take at least a few days, but experts say the economic impact could last weeks. With the port not operating at full capacity, there could be delays getting goods both on and off the shore. To the Canadian economy, every day delay is hundreds of thousands of dollars. It puts them in a huge bind because they can't get the product on the shelves because it's sitting at the terminal. Port officials admit there will be a slowdown, but at this point it's unclear what the overall impact to the supply chain will be. However, if boats do need to be diverted to either Prince Rupert or Seattle, that will mean higher costs for consumers. The Transportation Safety Board is still investigating the cause of the crash. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.